welcome to progressive social today we will learn the third part of geography chapter 2 natural vegetation and wildlife natural vegetation and wildlife exist only in the biosphere in the biosphere living beings are interrelated and interdependent on each other in survival this life supporting system is known as ecosystem natural vegetation and wildlife are valuable resources plants provide us with timber give shelter to animals produce oxygen we breathe protects soil so essential for growing crops act as shelter belts help in storage of underground water gives us fruits nuts latex turpentine oil gum medicinal plants and also the paper that is so essential for your studies wild life includes animals birds insects as well as the aquatic life forms they provide us milk meat hides wool etc insects like bees provide us honey help in pollination of flowers and have an important role to play as a decomposer in the ecosystem the birds feed on insects and act as a decomposer as well vulture due to its ability to feed on dead livestock is a scavenger and considered a vital cleanser of the environment so animals big or small all are integral to maintaining balance in the ecosystem distribution of natural vegetation the growth of vegetation depends primarily on temperature and moisture the major vegetation types of the world are grouped as forest grasslands shrubs and the tundra regions in areas of heavy rainfall huge trees may thrive as the amount of moisture decreases the size of trees and their density reduces in the regions of moderate rainfall short stunted trees and grasses grow forming grasslands of the world in dry areas of low rainfall thorny shrubs and scrubs grow in such areas plants have deep roots and leaves have thorny and waxy surfaces to reduce loss of moisture by transpiration the tundra vegetation of cold polar regions comprises of mosses and lichens forests are broadly classified as evergreen and deciduous depending on when they shed their leaves evergreen forests do not shed their leaves simultaneously in any season of the year deciduous forest shed their leaves in summer season to conserve loss of moisture through transpiration these forests are further classified as tropical or temperate based on their location in different latitudes population is increasing day by day to feed the growing number 
large areas of forest have been cleared to grow crops forest cover all over the world is vanishing rapidly there is an urgent need to conserve this valuable resource conservation of natural vegetation and wildlife forest are our wealth plants give shelter to the animals and together they maintain the ecosystem changes of climate and human interference can cause the loss of natural habitat for the plants and animals many species have become vulnerable or endangered and some are on the verge of extinction deforestation soil erosion constructional activities forest fire tsunami and landslides are some of the human made and natural factors which together accelerate the process of extinction of these natural resources and wildlife increasing incidence of poaching results in the sharp decline in the number of particular species the animals are poached for collection and illegal trades of hides skins nails teeth horns as well as feathers some of the animals are tiger lion elephant black buck deer crocodile rhinoceros snow leopard ostrich and peacock these are be conserved by increasing awareness national parks wildlife sanctuaries biosphere reserves are made to protect our natural vegetation and wildlife human activities in several parts of the world have been disturbed the natural habitats of many species due to the indiscriminate killings several birds and animals have either become extinct or are on the verge of extinction awareness programs like social forestry and van mahotsav should be encouraged at the regional and community level school children should be encouraged for bird watching and visiting nature camps so that they appreciate the habitat of varied species many countries have passed laws declaring that the trades as well as killing of birds and animals are illegal in india killing of lion tiger great indian bustard peacock etc have been banned an international convention sites has been established that list several species of animals and birds in which trade is prohibited conservation of plants and animals is an ethical duty of every citizen so let us nurture the nature so that we can have a better future thank you